In Malden, Abdu'l-Bahá stayed at a house owned by Mariah Wilson, where he gave talks, wrote numerous letters, and received many visitors. A close friend of Sarah Farmer's, Mariah had accompanied her on her trip to Egypt and Akka and had returned for a second pilgrimage. Mariah had asked Abdu'l-Bahá to visit her if he came to America as she wished to return his hospitality. She was overjoyed that he remembered and that she could host the nine men in his entourage in her small home. From Malden, Abdu'l-Bahá took day trips to Boston to give talks. One day he went for an automobile ride along the Atlantic coast and enjoyed its beauty. On his last full day in Malden, so many wanted to see him that his hostess asked her friend, Madame Murray, a well-known pianist, to hold a meeting in her large home nearby. The program began with music. Abdu'l-Bahá spoke about the religions of the world to the nearly 100 present. One of the visitors at the Wilson home was Harry Randall, a skeptical Boston businessman who earlier had been surprised by his own response to meeting Abdu'l-Bahá. He spoke in Persian, and my mind heard in English. Great is the power of the intellect, but it is dead without love. It needs the vivifying fragrance of love to make it a servant of God. He then blessed me and said, Be happy. Now Randall had come to Malden at the urging of his wife, Ruth, who was dying of tuberculosis. He entered the house hoping he would be able to ask Abdu'l-Bahá to visit her, but it was crowded with people, and he was told Abdu'l-Bahá had at least 100 requests for appointments that afternoon. Randall realized it was hopeless to wait and felt annoyed because he knew Abdu'l-Bahá didn't even know he was there. Then suddenly the kitchen door opened and a voice called, Abdu'l-Bahá will see Mr. Randall. Overcome, he went to the porch where Abdu'l-Bahá sat. When he looked up, Randall asked, I wanted to know if you... But that was as far as he got. Abdu'l-Bahá said, Yes, I will come and see your wife this afternoon. Abdu'l-Bahá's visit to the Randall house was a turning point for Ruth, who recovered. The Randalls later lived in Haifa in service to the faith and to Abdu'l-Bahá. Abdu'l-Bahá.